If there's one thing in life that we are sure of, it's that change happens. We all grow up, learn to figure things out for ourselves, and adapt. Our family has traveled the world full-time for the last 10 years, preparing our children, Avalon and Largo, to be capable and independent. Now that Avalon is off to college, and Will and I still have Largo with us for a few more years, it's time for one more mammoth adventure. Leaving our floating home friendship was just the beginning of our land travel journey, but it wasn't enough. We were drawn to something bigger, a challenge that would test our limits. And so we made the daring decision to take our adventures to the next level, to conquer the Appalachian Trail. Despite the lack of training for something as intense as this, we embarked on a four day hike in Peru, reaching heights of 12,000 feet. This was our way of ensuring we were physically prepared for the challenge ahead. But we knew that four intense days couldn't guarantee success over five months and 2,197 miles. It simply boosted our confidence for one day. Departing at Machu Picchu, we only had 10 days until we hit Springer Mountain for day one of our through hike on the Appalachian Trail. But there was still a ton to do. Off I boarded a plane with Largo to head to California to attend a conference and Will flew to Florida to pick up the gear for the hike and the car. On this Appalachian Trail journey, it will simply just be Jessica and Largo, and they are going to be the ones accomplishing this because it's their time. But I will be assisting in every way possible. I will be the person in the chair, helping them out as much as I can, helping them refuel and get that emotional break as much as needed. And I will walk as much as I can, but this is their journey, and I'm so excited for them. It's, it's gonna be amazing. All right, so, it, this is the night before the AT starts for Jessica and Largo. And they've just arrived into Atlanta airport and they had issues with their baggage. And it's 1.15 in the morning. And we have an hour to drive to our hotel. And um, <laughs> we got Century with us. And well, we're gonna see what time we get up in the morning because we have plans for like a 7 a.m take off from the hotel I don't know if we're still getting up at 7 o'clock in the morning it's pretty late hi, hi. <laughs> hi Will hi. hey we'll shut the door before she gets out Having arrived at the hotel at 2.30 a.m., instead of starting our through hike a few hours later, we decided instead to take a little breather, drive up to the Amicola Falls Welcome Center, check in, and learn more about what we were about to embark on. Oh my god, look! Uncle Todd, 2,190.1 miles. I actually think it's a different number this year, but it's close enough. Largo. This is such a famous picture, Largo. From here to here. <laughs> <laughs> Most people just walk by and don't touch it. Right? You're going to spend six <laughs> months going through it. That's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be a partner right there. No kidding. Pico! <laughs> Stop it. What is this? Let's go back I'm to delusional. The... I'm going on three hours of sleep. Let's go back to the hotel. Let's go back to the hotel There's and still sleep. hotel breakfast. This hotel breakfast and we get a pack. Let's go. We'll, s we'll be back tomorrow, but tomorrow we're starting at the trail head. Once we got back to the hotel, we realized that as much as we thought we were ready, we were nowhere close. So this is what the day before an AT hike looks like. Especially when you're moving from one country to another and you don't have a house. Look at this. Oh my gosh. It's so true. It's that I think that's what makes it even more challenging is that because we're switching countries, we don't have a house. We have stuff from our other life in this life. And, and I don't know what goes with what anymore. Like there's hair dye in here. There's everything in there. <laughs> We're off 5.30 a.m. on day one with a 4.15 wake up call. Woo! I have a feeling we're actually gonna get more sleep on the trail than we are 
ever on day one. Uh, so if we can handle today, I think we'll be fine for all days going forward. How's it going, driver? I got coffee. You got coffee and teenagers back I'm, there I'm sleeping. Getting sleep. He's getting sleep. <laughs> I think that's too full for fanny pack. What's that? My fanny pack. That's a huge too fanny pack. That's huge, right? The question is, do you need a bigger one? No. So there's it's seven o'clock in the morning and there are four cars here. I'm not sure if they're day hikers or if they're the hikers that have slept here. I don't know, maybe they're on the trail early. I'm not a huge hike in the dark type of gal, but I do love it in the morning. Not so much at night, so we're trying to be quiet just in case they're still sleeping. Lago's got the breakfast of champions here. <laughs> <laughs> An official good morning to everyone. It's light out and we are actually, we're actually hiking to the official starting point of the Appalachian Trail because since we didn't do the approach trail, we had to park the car, hike out a mile and then to get to the beginning and start and then hike back, then start the trail. It sounds really confusing and I'll explain why we didn't do the approach trail later. But for now, it's a beautiful day. No one's fallen yet. We haven't gotten lost. We saw our first white blaze and life is good. We're here. Ah! I found Appalachian Trail. <laughs> All right, we're here. Hold on, this Wait, is awesome. Oh, look, there's a marker. Oh, hold on, there's a marker. Well, I guess I thought it would be like flashing, like Times Square or something. So, oh wow. So we are right here. <laughs> just, just touch it. Just touch it. And then yeah, touch that. I have a confession, <laughs> everyone. I just took my first pee on the trail. It was lovely. <laughs> Are you gonna announce every time you go pee? <laughs> I'm not gonna announce every pee, but it, it was lovely, it was wonderful. That morning, Godzilla of water was coming through. Okay, so they're supposed to be in this Lago? rock. You're gonna have a hard time with her. <laughs> She's, She's gonna announce everything. I just slipped for the first time. Just so you know, guys, I'm gonna share it all. Probably some <laughs> TMI, but you're not gonna go away from this vlog going, I wish she would have shared more. You're gonna be hiking this with Largo and I virtually, and you're gonna feel and smell and hear everything. Okay, I found the box. That was pretty easy to find. So apparently, this is so cool. It's built into the rock. Oh, look at that. Largo, do you wanna do the honors? Of signing the book? Yeah. I'm good. <laughs> Are we gonna sign? Are we gonna sign with our trail names? Oh wow. Well, this is pretty sophisticated here. I wonder how old this book Lago, is. Lago, you're stronger than you think. That was from 1920. 19 <laughs> 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 All right. Is this Here? parchment paper? It's parchment paper. I gotta put my glasses on. So you wanna write? Back on the river Tangies. Is this, <laughs> is this where we should share our trail names? So they just, today's the 20th, right? 21st? I don't know what today is. 21st, 21st? Oh wow, already like seven or eight people have already signed it. Oh wow. All right, do you wanna, oh, people look like they're putting their real name. I think we should put our trail names. What do you think? Sure. Okay. My trail name is Sunshine, and I'll explain the whole story behind it on a later day, because today I think you guys just want to feel the vibe of the first day on the trail. And Laura, your, what's your trail name? My trail name is Captain, because I want to be a pilot when I grow up. <laughs> There's a deep story there. Deep story. Laura's wanted to be a pilot since he was like two years old, so. So we have a couple of traditions we're going to put in place for you guys <laughs> so we can have fun along the trail together. This is our first blaze here, and every hundred blazes, no, every hundred miles, we're going to dance, and I want you guys to get up out of your chair and dance with us. So you ready? How do you want to dance today? <laughs> Dancing with the stars is gonna call us. <laughs> next next hundred miles we'll do that again. <laughs> 
So I read something on one of the groups for AT hiking that someone said they hiked years ago and that they felt like they had long-term effects of the hiking in a negative way because they didn't stretch. So I need you guys to tell us what kind of stretches we should be doing. Like, I don't know, should I be touching my toes? Should I be, I'm not very good at stretching so we could use some pointers. Lago's much better than I am, but I need to know what to do. So share them in the comments, tell me what we should be doing. Thank you. I'm also not 50, so that's a pro. <laughs> I'm 51. <laughs> so for every day of the week that we're on the trail, we're gonna draw the number in the, on the ground with something that's out in nature. But since today is day one, and this is Blaze one, we're just gonna trace it. It's a throwback from our Camino vlogs, and I know a lot of you are gonna love it. Today we didn't build it, obviously, we just traced it, but you get the idea. Got to wash your hands. <laughs> And now back down to the parking lot. <laughs> so how do you feel about doing this without me? Um, freedom! <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm, I mean, we've been living and working and traveling together for 10 years and running a business and I'm with you 24 seven and I'm totally going to miss you. Um, I don't know if that means I'm codependent or not, but I like hanging out with you and it seems weird to do an adventure without you, right? I don't mind like, that we're codependent. I, <laughs> it reminds me of why I married you. I don't mind either. Because I, mean, I need you. Is it codependent or is it just two people who really like each other a lot? No, it's codependent. I didn't say love, I said liked each other. I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't really want to do it without you, but it's, it's like one of those things where I do it with you or with him and I'll always have time to do it with you and I won't always have time to do it with him because he's going to go off and have his own adventures. So this will be the first time in 10 years that we've been apart for more than, I don't know, like a couple of weeks. I know. <laughs> I know. It's, we it's very weird. And I'm going to come back a fit man. And I, you I'm guys, gonna eat, I'm going to eat healthy. I, I know Will will eat healthy. You already eat healthy. I'm going to eat but healthier. You know you know, what's interesting is that, you know, well, not interesting, but you guys got to help me out here because Will usually does almost all the filming for our vlogs. So I'm a little timid. I don't mind being on camera and I love to share and I love to engage with all of you, but I'm a little nervous sometimes of my technical ability. Luckily, Largo is really good at it. And I mean, I guess I can learn anything, right? So if you're like, why is, did she film that and only have her heads on the screen? It's because... I'm a work in progress. <laughs> so if you don't know any about about any of our vlogs, um, go back to like oh. go back to video one, and you'll see how bad I was. So there's hope for me. There's hope for you. There's definitely hope yeah. for you. So I know it's day one guys, but we're, we're a kind of rip that bandaid off type of family. And we have a Patreon account and we're meeting up with one of our Patreons right now. It's a family to go, they're gonna hike the beginning of our first day a little bit with us. And we've actually opened this up to all of our patrons who over the years have become very good friends. And now that we're back in the US after 10 years away, we get to meet a lot of them in person and hang out and dig deeper. And I'm so, like this is what's gonna make the trail I love being with Largo in this awesome bonding moment we're having, but the second best, an exercise, the third best, maybe they're all tied, is hanging out with people, meeting people on the trail, meeting people in our community that we've been a virtual friends for for all these years and never actually been able to meet in person. So if you're a patron, thank you so much. If you wanna be a patron, it's a way that you can support your favorite creators. Maybe we will be one of those after you're done watching this vlog. Hey guys! <laughs> Did anyone throw up? <laughs> oh, good. It's this place is crazy. <laughs> it's nice to meet you in person. Thank you. Thank you. All right, water crossing. Woohoo! I'm gonna fall in. That looks really unprofessional. 
That was easy. That was easy. That's gonna be a lot of firsts today. Water crossing number one out of how many? I don't know, 3,000? <laughs> And it's our first bridge crossing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh jeez. <laughs> okay, that was the coolest ever. Yeah. And Ireland and Clark and their lovely daughter met us on the trail, braved it with us on our first. Uh, they met us on the second mile of the trail. They are brave and they are cool. And you guys. I know you're watching. It was such a pleasure to hang out with you. you Absolutely. You, you made our trail start so fabulous and we thank you and we thank you for the goodies and the lovely poster and everything. Come join us again. On to the trail. What are we looking at over here? We're 4.1 miles in. It's a 4.1 mile dance. Do you want to do it? Huh, no. <laughs> You're opting out? Yeah, let's go, all right. Four more miles till we see Will. Stuff we're doing is on the job training and so I know obviously what a white blaze is and that's the trail and there's when there's two white blazes stacked on each other I kind of don't remember what that is I think that means proceed I'm not sure but I if one is to like one side a little bit then you go to that side but I gotta confirm that but I think it's really important that I let you guys know that we are not experts at this and we're learning along the way we're obviously not going to get lost and now we're coming up to a diamond and i don't know what the diamond means to be honest that might mean it's intersecting with another trail maybe i'm not sure Right now, Largo's having a tangle with a tree, but he's got his first big log crossing. Oh no, how am I gonna do it? Go under, go under. Great idea. <laughs> I can't fit. Um. Oh my gosh, Largo, you're so good at this. Wait till the next one. So we checked at the beginning at the falls, a lady who was introducing everything to us said that there's some sort of, I don't remember if it was military or, do you remember what it was, Will, Largo? It's Army Ranger School, I believe. Army Ranger School practicing out here that we might see people in camouflage and don't be alarmed. And we haven't seen anyone, but we found these, I think these are bullets, I don't know. I don't even know what bullets look like, to be honest. They look like bullets? Yeah, kind of. I don't know, you guys tell us, are these bullets? <laughs> <laughs> we don't know. So I think we're around like six and a half miles in. We don't have much left today. It's a nice, easy, slack packing kind of day. Kind of uneventful, nothing crazy happened. I was thinking today we would see the bear because we don't have any bear stuff with us. I'm a little nervous about the bears. I know I shouldn't be worried about the bears. I know that after a week, I'm gonna dump my bear spray and all that stuff in a bear, in a box and be like done with it. But right now, I'm a little nervous about bears because I did hear that it's cub season, so. But other than that, we've been kind of going well. Kind of just very fast. Yeah, we're all going pretty fast, aren't we? Yeah. I mean, it's easy to go fast when you have a little backpack on. True, you know? true, true. All right, so mom's about to go check a bearer. If I was a bear, that's where I would live. So of course I'm gonna go check. This is of course the best idea in the world. <laughs> Hello, is anyone home? No bears. Let's get out of here before he comes home. <gasps> it's pretty cool inside there. So, I mean, I think it could be a good shelter if you were cold. It's kind of dirty looking inside, but I don't know how structurally sound it is though. That's the only thing. It has no roof, but it's got good ventilation. 
We are on our final approach today. It is 106. I'm not exactly sure how many miles we've gone. I'm gonna pull out the phone around eight or eight, I think. Around 8.6. 8. We've got to hike with some amazing people that we've known through our Patreon and now in-person friends. And yeah, we're gonna go see Will and, and it's a day, It's almost a day's done. Yeah, it's I can't about believe it. it. Almost, we get picked up and then. Chauffeured. Back we're getting to the hotel. Spoiled. We're getting spoiled and back to the comfy bed of the no hotel. No kidding. Yeah. Tomorrow night, though, guys. Tomorrow night, we sleep in our tent for the first time, and that's gonna be. That's ooh, gonna be crazy. <laughs> very crazy. <laughs> Hello. Day one. You're gonna done. lean to me a bit. Day one done. Woohoo! We will see you guys tomorrow because now we're gonna go eat like savages, do laundry, and sleep in a comfy bed. After it takes us two hours to get back to the hotel. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Turn your packs on. Oh. We're actually ultra, ultra light hikers. This is a new style. You don't even carry a pack. We just open up our coat, push a button, and a tent comes out. <laughs> Follow us for ultra, ultra hiking. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, such a cool sign. Wow, the Appalachian Trip. Such a <laughs> <laughs> All right, mom, you think you can do it? Should I go over or under? Mm, I think you should go <clears throat> to the side. <laughs> <laughs> Fooled you guys! <laughs> so oh, difficult. So difficult. We're gonna have a lot of fun on this trail and if we don't laugh at ourselves and everything else um, that happens on the trail, we'll never survive six months. So get ready for the party.